JPEG is for images, MP4 is for video. Okay, so having generated all our images, the next thing is to start the website design. So the first thing you know we need to do is to rename the WordPress folder to the name of the school oh, yeah. or to the name of the website we want to do. So we are doing a website for David, David Hall. Hall School. Okay. So I can leave it as David Hall, okay? okay? Then the next thing is to copy this folder into the WW mm -hmm. folder of the WAMP folder. So I'll open WAMP, mm -hmm. then open WWW mm -hmm. and paste it inside. So while it is copying, I will start my WAMP server. If I click on my WAMP server like this, if I come here, once it changes to green, I know that my WAMP server is ready. So the next thing is to open my, my browser, open a new tab, type local hosts. So if I type local host, this is what I'm going to see. The next thing is to open my PHP my admin. If I open PHP my admin, it opens here. So I'll have to create a database for David Hall. So I'll come to databases. Then I'll come to database name. I'll still give it David Hall. Mm -hmm. I'll say create. Database has been created. So I'll check whether this thing has been has finished copying. You can see it has copied David Hall into the WW folder of the one folder in my local disk C. Okay? Mm -hmm. www. There you see David Hall there. Mm -hmm. So I will now come to my browser and type <coughs> localhost slash the forward slash David Hall. This David Hall is the name of the folder, not the name of the database, the name of the folder. I press enter. So, takes me to where I will run my installation of the WordPress. English language or Arabic? Arabic. Uh -huh. English <laughs> language. I'll say continue. It says, welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, we need some information on the database. You will need the following. One, database name, database username, database password. So, we say, yes, let's go. So the database name is still David, David Hall. Hall. Mm -hmm. The username by default is roots. Yeah. When we host the website, we can change it. Then password is empty, blank. Mm -hmm. We will not put anything. Mm -hmm. Then database host is local host because we are designing locally. Yeah. Then the table prefix is WP underscore. Yeah. So what this means is that all the tables that will be created in this database will have WP underscore yeah. on them. They will submit. All right, you've made it through this part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database. If you are ready, if you are ready, time now to run install. So site title, site title is the name of the school. Yeah, so we say David. International college. Oh. You take it together. Oh, is it together? Yeah. Change the name. Okay. It's one word. Okay. Yeah. So David Hall International. Let's use school for them because it's not only college they run. Yeah. 
the username. Sorry. Username, password, then email. You put your email. This username is the name that is the username you're using to log into the dashboard for the website. Then your email. You say install WordPress. So you log in. Once you log in, once you log in, you have you put your email address, I mean your username and password. It says briefly unavailable for scheduled maintenance. Back in a minute. We refresh. So it has brought us to the dashboard. The first thing we need to do is to install the theme that we will need. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So we we'll come to appearance, themes. I'll come to teams, add new team. I want to use um, a team called Education Web. If you already know the name of the team you want to use, you type the name. But if you don't know, you search. Too. So you come to Education Web. Team install successfully, then activate. So, as soon as you activate. So having installed the team education web, mm -hmm. the next thing we now need to like, we need to look at the content that the people have sent so that we'll be able to know the kind of pages we will be creating. Okay. Okay. So for the first page you need to create, come to pages, say add new. Mm -hmm. So the first page you need to create, first page is home page. Home. Publish. You don't put anything in the home page. You click on publish. Go to add new again. Another page you need to add is what? Um, news. News updates. Publish. So others will now come here. We need something for Okay. Vision statements. Add me. Okay. So here is their vision statement. Publish. Add new again. Look for their mission statement. Their mission statement is long. Mission statement. Why are you scared? 
escaping the objectives. And I want to see this is the objective. You no, know, the objective will be okay. Let me put the objective. There's a reason why. I wanted to make it appear at the top. Okay. Not at the home page. Um, So, so we now have a page that says Welcome to David Hall School. So this is more like the welcome page and under this welcome page all these things are supposed to they are supposed to actually send a brief information about their school david hall school was founded in so blah 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 oh, okay. but okay. they did not mm -hmm. they did not so we're just going to put their objectives put their anthem so when they see it later on they can Correct it. If they don't correct it, and then you feel it's necessary, not to tell them. No, I normally tell them. Okay. But you know, they will just first of all send you what they already have. Okay. But well, yeah, so we want to do something like this. So this is our our what do we call it slider, okay? okay. So when I say work on our conducive environment, why people should okay. come? Because they send pictures that blend with what they are doing. You get the okay. point? Okay. So but these people now they didn't do this. So you have to just find a way of adding something for them. So, we will now come publish the, okay, welcome to David Hall School, we'll look for a picture, set featured image, we'll come to set featured image, select files, okay, that's look where for, we select those files, uh, those pictures, yes, so we'll say welcome to David Hall School, which of the pictures should we use, let's use this, Because that's the first picture that should display. So let it be something that where they are in their official uniform. They will publish. You can see that the information they sent okay. is almost. The of those girls. Okay. Yeah. This looks more attractive. Yes. the new page we can say now qualified teachers they don't have any right of qualified teachers so you have to just write something for them okay. on the account of teachers We make sure that we engage the most qualified and smart teachers who know what it takes to. Dedicated teachers. 
Uh -huh. Okay. Make sure we engage the most qualified and smart dedicated teachers who know what it takes to empower and empower knowledge. This is why our students and pupils come out with outstanding students and pupils. I don't know this one thing. In primary school, they are called pupils and secondary uh, students. Outstanding mm -hmm. performances in external examinations <coughs> so we look for a, a picture that might be close to a conducive environment so it's that place that is fine where else This is this one, for example. Later on, let me publish. Okay. Let's get the picture first for the next one. Funny how this seems very easy. The fun. <laughs> then, they are building the total. They are doing a job that makes it like. Yeah, real. Yeah. So, building the total charge because they are into sports. So, sports is more like the total charge. So, we don't. Just focus on academics. We also make sure that the overall personality of the child is developed in one way or the other we are also a sports oriented school and help our children discover their innate potentials. Okay. Which picture did we use for the qualified teachers? That one, which one? Is this entrance <coughs> for something? I think um, qualified well, teachers. Is that see the one you called winning? Okay, wait, welcome to this. Is there a teacher? Yeah, here? the one you called winning. Let's look for another yeah. one. Okay, so all is um Let's that one you wanted one. to have used mm -hmm. before. This one. Mm -hmm. I have two faces. Uh, anyone who think is their teacher now. <laughs> yeah. Or should we use that one where they will intervene the girl? Mm. As you say, they are supposed to be someone acting as if he's a teacher mm -hmm. among them. So we update. Then we get maybe one more feature of the school. Um, we've gotten qualified teachers, we've gotten... Um, Have you fixed a picture uh, for the building that you channel? Yes. Okay. I Which fixed the is? picture first. Oh, one okay. of the sports pictures. Okay, okay. 
What else should we get? Which one are we you have, different? Let's now look for conducive environment. Let's look for one of these ones where they're in a very fine environment playing game. Because the school they, they didn't send their building. At all. And the sieve environment. So when you are designing website, most times, most times your your clients will not even send you anything. So you are the one that will have to do content content creation for them. So conducive environment, okay. We know that a good environment. Is a catalyst for effective teaching and learning. Correct spelling. Therefore. We make sure we provide the provide. the best environment and facilities. Pages do we need to create for them? We've created the three sliders, we've created all this, mm -hmm. then we have created <coughs> these white choosers. Okay, mm -hmm. we already have some photo for gallery. Latest news, latest news. We'll take the news here. All my results locked, so take. This one is we also that create it. So for parents who visit their school. So for latest news now, we don't put it on that post, on that pages. Okay. We'll go to posts, add new post. So online results. Online results activated. Okay. We we'll just use this get publish after online results. We run over computer based testing CBT. Copy. Add new post. Based test made easy. We have nothing close to it, so we have to look for 
something like a computer based yeah. listing publish then elen add me paste elen and commenced Publish Admin Admission 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 is on go. Yeah, this will use a contact information address and phone number. publish so when I'm done with creating all the pages and the posts I will now come back to appearance okay. customize right click open the customize page in a new place okay so I will now customize my page once you click on the customize it automatically opens a new page right? so I right click if I click customize, if I click normal customize, it will instead it will replace the dashboard with this customize page. But because I will be moving from the customize part to the dashboard, uh, so I, I right click to open it in a new tab. You can see it's not yet properly arranged. So the first thing I need to do is the static front page. The static front page your latest posts no it is when i'm doing a blog my front page will be the latest post but okay. because i'm doing a website it has to be a static a, a page okay then i'll select home page then on that post page i'll select the news updates okay you get the point then i'll save and publish i'll go back general settings under general settings, we have site logo slash tagline. So this site logo now is here. So I'll click here. Click on upload. Here. Yeah. Now this is where I'll select this one now. Select. I'll have to increase this. Then okay. Now it has replaced this, but this one is still showing. So I, I want only this, not this to show. Okay. So I'll come. I'll say display site title and tagline. I'll say I'll uncheck it. Okay. Then down site icon. Site icon is all this icon you see, like Facebook icon mm -hmm. at the top. And any of all this, it says select image. This is where I'll now select that single logo. Okay. You see the difference? Yeah. Select crop. 
So to as it has come here, the logo. Mm -hmm. So that's it. I'll say save. I'll go back. Background image. I don't normally like to put background image because it slows down the website. If you put a background okay, image, okay, that yeah, image will go down. Yeah. So go back. Team colors. Primary color. Primary color by default is blue. No. Okay, blue is blue. That. So we now have to change it to this color. Okay. So we have to come back here and look for the color code. Look for the color code. Click here the primary color. Paste it. The same. You can see every the, the whole colors have become the primary color. Okay, the main footer color, this side, if I want to change them, I can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But many times, I like my footer to just maintain that blue. Yeah, blue makes it sharp. Huh? It's sharp compared yeah. to... Mm -hmm. So, go back, then after top, after team color settings, the next one is top head <coughs> settings, quick contact information, phone number, email phone number address, so I will go and get, let's get the address first. address that's the top header top that's it here. okay phone number they don't they didn't send their email so we copy two of the phone numbers we separate them by comma get a point mm -hmm. go back social media link they have not sent us their social media link. When they say social media, Facebook, this is mm -hmm. not supposed to be like this. Only Facebook and Tom. Uh -huh. And David has a project So, this is not how a, a, a link should be. I think it's just David has a project with this. So, they are supposed to have something like that Facebook dot facebook.com slash david hall so if they have others twitter google plus we'll put the link that will come here and show they are saying they are only on facebook that is what it means so go back go back then in uh, okay after this we have main header settings okay mm -hmm. we enable it then main banner slider the banner is this banner that we have here what's here banner or slider these pictures that slide yeah so here we have slider settings if you click here now to say select the page so the first banner I want is this welcome to David Hall. Okay. They say we should write a text. I'll just leave it. Add a new slider. Select another page. Building the total chart. Okay. Add another slider. Conducive environment. So Now, this place where we selected the static front page, we ought to have chosen enable 
slide. Enable education web front page so that education web front page will be what will be activated for us. Okay. So, so we'll go back. So we have inserted the slider, see them? Mm -hmm. Good pictures are good. Yeah. Okay. So we are done the slider. We now come to home page section areas. That is from this side down. Okay. okay. So, feature settings. I, I want to use. Feature settings. Let's see. Features. Mission statement. I don't want this. I want this one. Which one was the longest there? It was mission, Abi. The vision, longest statement. Uh, vision. Vision. Yes. Vision statement. Okay. Vision so statement. this is what I want now. So I'll now come to the top and write. Welcome to David Hans Cruz. This is where I wanted to put their motor. Okay, it's mission statement that is longer. Mission is the one that is longer. Yeah. So the first, this thing is mission, the vision statement. So I, want, I don't want this logo. This I want to use this one as the icon there. Okay. Yeah. Then I say add new. Add new. Select the page. Our objectives. No, the one that is the longest is the one I want to be at the middle. The mission statement. Uh, do you understand? Mission, what, what icon should be the best to describe it? Let's see. Then, add new. Objectives. So the longest will be at the middle. Why these two okay. fly? It is it's better. It's rather than putting the get. We now save. We want three. So let's right click preview in a new page. We need to we need to arrange the menu. We need to arrange this menu okay. so that it can blend. So we'll go back to the dashboard, go to appearance, menus. Once we click on menu, we'll create a new menu. So main menu, see create. Let's say create. I want this menu to be my primary menu and my footer menu too. Mm -hmm. Then view all. So I want this page to be on the menu, this, this, I don't want mission statement, they are already on the home page, so exactly. news, qualified teachers, welcome, add to menu, okay. I'll add it to menu, so the home should be the first, after the home it should be about us. But about us, we don't have a page for it, so we come to custom links. Put hash here, then put about us as a custom menu. Okay. 
The reason is because we want about us to be after this, and we want welcome to the school to be under about us. So when you click it, will, we click an about us to drop down and show you this. You now click this to get your details, because we don't want to put welcome to David Hall schools directly as a menu. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I get it. Then the same thing with all this building the total chart conducive environment. So with custom link, okay. what it should be, put a hash. This hash means if they click on this right top, it exactly. will move anywhere, it will only drop, drop down. down. So it will be why choose us. So we'll take it up. Building the total child conducive environment qualified teachers. We said. Now because later on we are going to add our portal link there. So we'll put hash student login. Hash. Staff login, add to menu, yeah. save, save menu. So if we come to this tab now and refresh, you can see that this one, I want all of them to be on the but because the, the, this thing is too long. So instead of putting student menu and staff menu, staff login. To, um, differently, so I can create another custom link and call it portal portal login. Then bring the student login under it and the staff login inside it. Then bring news update under. Okay. Then we save. So, if we refresh our page, it's all we have. You can see that it has blended now. Yeah. This is the one. So, you can see. Then, go to the customize. So, after this, we come to courses section. This courses section tells us why we are the best. The first reason is select page. We have qualified teachers. Add new. We have conducive environment. Add new. We have to view the total chart. Review. You see it? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Then, after that, we'll scroll up and go back. We put gallery. And the gallery title put photo speaks add gallery add gallery add select so one two three four five six seven eight nine put nine we can add as many gallery as they want but for mm -hmm. now we may do with what we have. Huh? We may do with what we have. Yes, we may do with what we have. So, update the gallery and save. If you preview, you are going to have a gallery. I thought it was nine. We selected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Okay, we can still add one more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
okay one of the pictures looks like it's repeated so we'll just look for another picture let's put this or click on this one This is not their own picture anyway. Is their own picture now? This one. Oh, okay. So, after that, we'll go to one account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, because of the sizes of all the pictures are not the same. Okay. Hmm? There is this one now that is causing it. Okay. Because the size okay, is yeah, different. For which I didn't even remember again. Because it is 430 by 435. So, I see. so what we would have done was to join it with another one and make it the same size so that all the yeah. all the pictures can blend. You can see all this one that we set, they are yeah. blending. Yeah. So it's this one that is causing it. Um maybe see that if we remove it, I see. It has been removed. So it's better we have it here. So we now know that we need one picture of the same size. So we we'll go back. We we'll come to our blog. So news updates. Uncategorized. Select news categories. Uncategorized. Publish, preview, the same problem here. Yeah. There was these two, these pictures are not. Then, here, go back, a footer call to action, call to action button. You just look for a write up to put there. I know here. Okay. There is a button that will be there on the footer. So I'll just say we natural youths of diverse background. Then the button text will be join now or register now. But we don't have a page where it will go, so we'll just put hash. Okay. And save. How is it called? So I so should take them to a page where they can register. Okay. So you can see that as it is, we have our website. Then this footer right up, we need to change it. The WordPress team by offshore teams. So we need to write website and portal design by. So we'll go to we'll go to the WordPress folder. WW folder. Mm -hmm. I look for the David Hall. Mm -hmm. If you open it, you open WP contents. Under WP contents, teams. On that thing, you see the team we are using. Yeah. The education web. Yeah. You open it. You open offshore teams. Then you open functions. I think. If you scroll down, Ctrl F, find. 
so this is where you change it this right top that is here now this is where it is in the code so we remove instead of using word pressing we say website and portal by scroll forward by so you know when you click on this place it will take you to the website address of the developer so we have to change the website address to our own so digital school dot com dot dot ng then the name of the developer this place where they wrote offshore teams mm -hmm. change it so easy hop Owners of digital school software. You save this, save it. Then yeah, come here and refresh. Get the point now. Yeah. So, my website is ready. So, if we are going to upload it, the first thing we need to do is to export the database. Okay. So, okay, let's 